move too much. Is this green going to fuck with the green on the background? Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't see green really well. Really? I'm colorblind, yeah. I used to tell my boss at Dick's that I was colorblind so I could get out of, like, because <laughs> when you work in the team sports department of Dick's, it's all, like, sorting batting gloves and, like, fucking baseball helmets and shit yeah and they'd be like sort all the helmets and i was like i literally can't i see everything in black and white <laughs> yeah. and then i would just chill until they fired me <laughs> i'm watching like original looney tunes vision <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so keep i do want to hear the rest i was being a shithead but what's the rest of the movie uh so i'm a, a porch pirate that's the name of the movie porch pirate coming soon it's uh i steal packages off porches and then one of them i find a human head in it and nice. I, I try and bring that to a pawn shop. I used to see you try to sell it. Yeah, shit, that makes sense. Shit goes south. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Dude, did you see that? Did you see that thing uh, on Twitter? The Bucks County beheading? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> so funny. Some, no, no, first, it was fucked, you know, because I was like, all right, so there's no way this is going to be on it. But I had to, like, look through. <laughs> you have to watch it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't want to. Oh, it freaks me out. But then I was like, let me see what the people are up to in the comments. And someone jammed a screenshot in there. I was, <laughs> oh, I was dude. So pissed, dude. They have a picture of the head. Yeah, yeah. the guy holding it. Yeah. Holding it like hair, like yeah, in the yeah. Louis Joe. No, he's, <laughs> like a he's got it covered in, like, a plastic bag. I watched the whole 12 minute video. <laughs> <and> <laughs> He only, it's so surprisingly, he only shows the head once for like five seconds. You would think that'd be the darling of the whole show. I'd be yeah. dribbling it like a soccer ball. I'd be fucking, <laughs> be bouncing it off the wall. Yeah. What was the content of his speech before that? He's like, because it's funny if he was like, check out, cut off my dad's head. Anyways, there's a problem in the Gaza Strip. And he just focuses on that. That's kind of what it was. It was like, <laughs> he's like, these Chinese people are trying to take over your country. The feds are lying to you. Joe Biden's a pussy. <laughs> He's I like, caught my dad's head off. Dude, and that's he's, it? he's holding his dad's head. He's like, I'm the new acting president. He's like, I'm the new president of the United States. Oh, yeah. That's funny. Um, two hours later, he was arrested. No longer the president. But If, if he had gone like the opposite direction, like, here's my dad's head. Now, get, get dressed with me. It's like one of, the, <laughs> one of those TikTok. He does makeup should... tutorial <laughs> on it. He does a whole Mr. Rogers thing <laughs> after that. That'd be nice. Just listen to me eat crab legs. <laughs> Yeah, a little mukbang next to my dad's head. <laughs> mukbang? Isn't that what they're called? I think so. That's what Chinese Eating his like. father. It's, cur- it's like Korean That was his dad's name. name. Yeah. Mukbang. His name was Roger Mukbang. I do like those. Uh, I, I originally thought they were kind of lame, but it's a it's a cool lane on the internet. Like the just hot Korean chicks just like stuffing their faces with food. Yeah, dude, I would do that. I was going to start a mukbang you channel should, with my buddy. Do it. <laughs> just yeah. fucking eat, eating Chinese It'd be pretty scary if you did it. No, why? <laughs> why? Some, why would it be scary? I don't know. You're just not as hot as Korean ladies. Fucking disagree. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you, dude. I don't know about all that. Fucking know. big disagree. Yeah, dude. Chris challenge Wood, flag. Uh, Chris Wood made me laugh so hard because he retweeted the Bucks County beheading thing. And it was like, send this to your dad with the caption, all caps, LOL. And then <laughs> don't reply to anything he says after that. That's perfect. <laughs> this guy's a genius. Is it getting national traction? Oh, yeah. The story is? I think so. I mean, it's only, like, so much uh, attention they can give it. You know, I think they're trying to, like, dumb this one down a little bit. But, like, we don't who's who's blaming, like, so what political side is blaming the other one? Are they both blaming each other? It's got to be. Right? Yeah. He's a, uh, well, yeah, so he's a conservative blaming the Dems for everything, and then most conservatives are like, well, if you guys didn't push him to that point. And nice. Then, and then the Dems are like, this guy's obviously insane. He just cut his fucking dad's head off. But he believes in what you believe. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, you find a way to, that everyone can be wrong. That's I good. mean, dude, so I was saying this the other night, but like 500 years ago, that guy would have maybe had a chance at becoming the acting president. Yeah, he's like, oh, shit, we might want to give him what he wants. Oh, yeah, yeah, they used to do shit by force. They used to have duels and things like that. That's what I'm saying. So, like, cutting your dad's head off is obviously never the move, but his heart might have been, like, getting close to the right place. Yeah, it sucks that everything has to be political. You can't can't just love cutting a guy's head off anymore. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) They're making everything about what side he's on. It's like, I just wanted to cut off a head. just got a saw I'm trying to try out. Yeah. So dismissive. Yeah. Sick. God damn. But yeah, rest in peace to that guy. R.I.P. that dude. Praying for a speedy recovery. Hope your hope your head gets reattached. That's uh one of the calls I wanted to make today. I wanted to call Carl Weathers and just ask him if he's doing okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carl, stop fucking around. Yeah. 
Yeah, that it might go to voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't do an, an Apollo Creed in Rocky Four joke last night because it was his death, and I was like, "This isn't gonna make everyone's gonna immediately be like yeah. Did it work? sidetracked." No, I didn't do it because uh, I'm gonna say like this Apollo Creed reference on the day of his death, and people were like, "Didn't he just die?" And it'll spin out of fucking control, so I left it. I tried to start my set at Raven Lounge last night with my uncle was the gator that bit off Chubb's hand, <laughs> so this is a big day for my family. It's pretty good, dude. It bombed so hard. That, that's <laughs> hilarious. People were like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, you didn't hear he died. Never mind. All right. <laughs> Who's dating? Dude, I didn't get back till like 1 a.m. last night. I, f- I was with uh, Del Calo out in the woods somewhere. Nice. Featuring for him one of the worst bombs of my life. Oh, nice. It was fucking nightmare town. How far out? So it was like a VFW kind of thing? Uh, It was like downstairs in the basement of this like country bar. Okay. And there was like a country band playing upstairs. The show was like packed. Uh, just old whites, yeah, fucking like sixty and up, and they were just like rowdy, yelling. They were there for comedy, but they were all the comics had a kind of a rough go. But I got the the brunt of it. They, right. Did they you go hated. up early or did you go? I featured. You featured, so you had the worst. The ho- I mean, it shouldn't have been like it was just my fault. Like I just couldn't. Like you would. Uh, you didn't do the tap dancing. I do. I you got a tap dance out there, bud. I try. I was like, I want to go back upstairs and listen to the country band. It was so fucking bad. I wanted Iran to fucking nuclear strike the building while I was on stage. I oh, wanted man. my body to explode. No, I that, didn't want that. Yeah, I didn't want that either, dude. You should just. But you, those things are great. You just gotta like hack it up a bunch. Yeah, I'll throw a draw on my voice. I'm like dead serious. I was <laughs> like, hey y'all, what y'all? I'll do it for real. Like, and I don't. I have no shame about it. Just be? trying to survive those <laughs> things. Yeah, I do a lot of them though. Like they're. Very popular, like in rural Pittsburgh and stuff like that. Word, nice vicious bomb in a basement. They're so, good though. Usually, I mean, they don't, they don't usually yell out too much. Yeah, I I felt bad for Del Collo because I put him in a hole and then he did great and he handled. But it was just like, I I was trying to do material because I didn't want him to have to do crowd work for forty five minutes. Yeah. So like you would like be like, this guy's gay. You're fat. You're Jewish. Yeah. And they'd laugh at that, and then you try a joke, and they're like, we hope you fucking you gotta call him fat and gay again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, that's my whole thing. So, yeah, <laughs> you would probably love it. That's up there. where I come in, dude. <laughs> what are you guys, fat and gay? <laughs> what <are> nice, <laughs> fat and gay's secret podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's something. Yeah, that's something. Write it down. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's that's basically it. Rest in peace to Carl Weathers. I'm glad I got a tattoo of his likeness ten days ago. Yeah, you did, dude. You kind of predicted this. Yeah, dude. I'm the seer. What? <laughs> he did get a Carl Weathers tattoo. You got tattoo. a Carl Weathers tattoo recently? <laughs> yeah. Is it him in Predator? No. <laughs> With his arm blown off? It's him being a Predator. No, uh, it's uh, the end of Happy Gilmore when he's in the clouds in the with Abraham Lincoln and the alligator and they're <laughs> waving goodbye. Get the fuck out of here recently? <laughs> yeah. I got this like two weeks ago. I was like, this is going to be the funniest thing ever. And it actually kind of is now. That's pretty good. Now I have three dead guys on my leg. <laughs> God. Yeah, the gator is dead. I have Abraham Lincoln, Drew's uncle, and, <laughs> and Carl Weathers. <laughs> Damn. I've had people DMing me like, I'm so sorry to hear about this. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Makes it I'm more so fun. sorry about <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Like, Carl Weathers is going to die at some point, right? Yeah, I was planning on it. Yeah. <laughs> you were planning on it? <laughs> I was going to kill him. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I mean, but that was me shooting my shot, I guess, in fucking... Where's, it, where's your ta- where's the tattoo? Uh, it's like uh, uh, here, I think. Thigh tattoo. I think so. Very ladylike. Uh, I'm a feminine little girl. <laughs> That's a nice the thigh tattoo. I think my mom's got one of those. Dude, when I it's think. cocktail dress season, I clean up. Yeah, <laughs> That's I, bet, all I'm say. <laughs> I almost got a leg tattoo the other day, and uh, I didn't. What were you doing? I was gonna get a uh, Charizard eating a bag of hot fries. <laughs> 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 I thought that was sick. That's pretty good. But yeah, I changed it to... D- Stephen A. Smith talking about which Pokemon starters he likes is the funniest. Have you seen that video? No. It's you, Stephen A. Smith from... And it's, people just send in questions. So they send in like the three Pokemon starters. And Stephen is like, you know, Bulbasaur, I don't think he can get it done. <laughs> it's like, I like Charizard. He has wings. He has the claws. <laughs> I love a sports uh, analyst that does like live stream Q&As. <laughs> and then it's just people in the comments fucking with him. Yeah. Like Michael Bisping, every time he does it, it'll be like, question from Amanda Jerkoff. <laughs> oh. Amanda Jerkoff. Straight I see Simpson you, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like all, all, fucking, yeah. All, that's great. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> What's, I mean, just because I don't know. What is it? Pokemon starter? 
what's that mean? Like a starter jacket. Like the <laughs> yeah. a starter jacket is what it is? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Man, I just Isn't that a, what you meant? A hornet's? <laughs> no, like the Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Like the first oh, which one. one you'd start with? Yeah, you pick. <laughs> oh, you're talking about... Oh, Dude, starter, starter needs a game plan? The funniest thing <laughs> I, thought that's, I thought that's I thought that's what we were talking about. Oh, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, Stephen A. looks like he could wear those. <laughs> just leaving Professor Oak's lab like, she <laughs> Oaker. <laughs> oh, you got that shit on. <laughs> But the stun on Misty. I love naming uh, in like Pokemon Yellow. You can name Ash and his rival, and then it's always like, Ash "What the or, fuck are we talking about, dude?" You know what I'm talking about. No, I swear to God, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Aren't you like 30, dude? I'm 40. I don't know what the fuck you guys are saying. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking floored. I'm like starter Pokemon. You can name the guy in Pokemon, and you always name him Pokemon. Like, yes, that's the guy. No. Yeah. You thought the guy's name was Pokemon? Hi, Rick Pokemon. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> the Seneca guy? Pokemon. No, nice. no, Pikachu is the name of the of the Pokemon. Pokemon's like animals. Dude, I want you to call... Pokemon are animals? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <No>, Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur? <laughs> Bal- Balthazor? 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 <laughs> Dude, That's the you... new name for today. I want yeah. you to call a GameStop and just make them explain Pokemon to you. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, I'll be fucking confused as hell. I'll have a blast it's about like, it. You're scaring me. Get Stephen A. Smith on. I'm fucking... <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing Is too much. Is that the same thing as Dungeons and... Or... Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> no, the no, same. no, no. What's the Magic the Gathering? Yep, same thing. That's all. That was like a because Magic the Gathering was like fucking. That's what dorks did when I was younger. Yeah, and then like my little brothers and sisters when they wanted to be dorks but didn't want to do the old way of being dorks, they were like Pokemon. Yeah, and that's what it, that's what I understood. It's like so a card game. How old were you when Pokemon dropped? I don't know when it dropped. It just existed. I don't. It's like mid nineties, I think. Yeah, I know there is a card. It's a card game. Yeah, Dude, and there's rolls. a TV show. Right. Still is, I think. Still is, and I know there's a Pikachu. We gotta get you a kid, dude. No, we I'm gonna get you. Like, go steal one. Yeah. Like, go grab one. There's something out there walking. I'm gonna get you a son, dude. You'll love it. I walked around Reading Terminal Market today, and all I could, like, I was watching. I was like, if I could take any one of these kids, oh, you <laughs> mind? You can, can take them there. Yeah, for sure. You can get lost in there quick. And these little kids are walking around aimlessly. Parents not watching them. It's yeah. pretty. Yeah. I used to think, <laughs> oh, this is so fucking dumb. But like, I, my mom. Of, and I was, when I was younger, she, instead of like trying to save me from getting abducted, she sort of got when I leave the house, she just give me a quarter and be like, if anybody tries stealing you, pay run off. to the nearest payphone, oh. yeah. dial nine one one. I was like, that is too much confidence yeah. in my speed at that point. <laughs> but I was, I was just thinking recently how like, one, it'd be an embarrassing walk back to the kidnapper van if some 10-year-old like left you in the dust right yeah, first oh, off yeah. like dejected because like it's all out of breath yeah. fast just ankles broken <laughs> like, the, and the other your kidnapper pals are like what the fuck happened back there you know but so i swear to god in my brain thinking about abduction i was like like if they're spending time at the parks abductors should really like they should treat that like the combine and just clock like foot yeah, races true. and shit like that true. and just you know which ones that you could Take and which ones you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm a first round molester for sure. <laughs> <laughs> On athletic kid, get him. He's always wandering off and looking at things. Yeah, take him. The quarter is nuts. Like you're gonna be like, excuse me, Mr. Child Molester, I have to make a phone call. <laughs> well, I couldn't. Even I get my it. one phone call. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm, yeah, I was, I knew even at eight years old, like that's not. I can't outrun an adult, and also I gotta find one, and then I gotta right. reach it. You yeah, hit nine one one, and this guy, what is this guy doing, mom? Like, how lazy is he? You find a payphone, it doesn't work. You're like, no, <laughs> go find another payphone, <laughs> sir. You give me a little bit of a head start. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. It's my mom like defends it to this day. She's like, well, you know, there are a lot of payphones back in the day. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, shit, they were kind of everywhere. I'm like, all right, lady, that's what they're installed for. <laughs> that was the original purpose. Yeah, do I don't know if like do abductions happen as much anymore? Hell it was like yeah. super popular back in the day. I'm sure. Huge. I'm sure they're still pretty big. What are you doing it for? Like I thought everyone was broke. Good point. Why are we picking it up? I mean, it's probably pedophiles, right? Yeah. Yeah. I kids probably go for a good good price too. A good sh- sh- straight. White male, hard yeah. worker. They used to abduct kids back Imagine in the day. if you like, try and sell a kid to somebody, and they're like, fucking no, dude, what? And you're this, like, never mind. You're saying, he's got a, got a crooked leg. No, My grandma told me that back in the day, they, uh, they'd they abducted a lot. It was like, from like, a rural farm community. Yeah. They'd abduct kids to work on their farm. But like since there was no real communication, they just like 
couple towns over. You start working on another <laughs> family's farm, and that was just it. <laughs> like just running distance them. from from home. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> do milking cow. It's the same existence too, because it was just like yeah, labor force. Yeah, so yeah. they're like, I don't know, I'm doing it here. Might as well do it for some other guy. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that stinks. <laughs> just bring me home, dude. <laughs> that's all I want. Pizza Department, Allie speaking. Hey, how you doing? Hi, what can I do for you? Hey, this is Akon Ludacris. Uh, kind of a weird question. You guys have the lobster tank in there, right? With the live lobsters? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, this is the right place then. I was actually in there a couple days ago, and I think I... I I brought a lobster with me when I was coming to the store because I wanted to compare it to some of the ones in, in the tank. And I think I put it in the tank. I think you have my lobster. And uh, I need him back. I'm sorry. Let me get the manager. Hold on. No, we can It doesn't have to. This doesn't have to go to the top. I just need. He's he's like um, brownie of spots. He looks One like. Second. Seafood, Caitlin speaking. How may I help you? Hey, wasn't I just talking to you? Uh, no, no. Oh, oh, How someone else. How can I help else? you? Okay, I think, yeah, y'all got my lobster in there. Uh, so what do you, what do you mean? I, I brought a, I brought a lobster from home, uh, two days ago, and I seem to have misplaced it. I think he might have gotten in the tank there with uh, the other ones. What do you mean misplaced it, though? I can't find him. So so how would it be in our tank? Maybe he got in. Maybe maybe someone found him crawling around and like tossed him in the in the tank. Um so if it was crawling around on the ground we wouldn't put it in our tank just because of food safety purposes. Yeah, I'm um, sure you so get this question anything, all the time, but I I just like need him back cuz I it's my anniversary. Um so we we can't help you with that. If I, if it was crawling on the ground, we would have tossed it out at that point. So um, only lobsters that like are in our tank are the ones that we get from our um, our people. Is that store policy when you find a lobster on the ground? Like, maybe he went to a different department. Um, any food safety purposes, if it falls on the ground, we do not put it on the sales floor. So, if okay. it was crawling around the ground, it wouldn't have been in our tank. I'm pretty sure he's in the tank. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing by and just give it give it a look see. Uh, I I'm, I can. I can put you on hold and you can talk to my manager at that point. Um, no, 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 you don't have to do it. It's okay. I'll, I'll just come look. I, cause I, I just want to get eyes on, you know, this thing's, uh, it's a fine specimen. Yeah, but um, if you come, you cannot access the tank. You have to just get one of us to help out with that. Well, he got in the tank, just fine, and he has like rubber bands on his. What do you call him? Um, one second. I will forward you to my manager. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, it's a corporate policy. If a lobster falls on the floor, we toss it. We kill your pet lobster. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it would have been in the garbage disposal for sure. We have a policy on that. I don't think the manager's going to have any sense I do like the, the lady got the manager. And then the manager They're got like... on. He said, didn't I just talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> she sounded exactly the same. They're pushing this through, honestly, and it's insane. I mean, this person's... That's our favorite part about this show, is just imagining some employee explaining to their manager, like, we got a guy who lost his lobster <laughs> here, and it's, he hates it. it's in the tank now, he thinks. I'm not, I'm not trying to waste time. Being I'm like, what? I'm going to call this one. Yeah, I keep faking me out. <laughs> Thought that was him. Yeah, they're not going to answer. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, the store policy is the... The, the wildest. Yeah, just like... <laughs> like they have it framed up on the wall. <laughs> if lobsters escape, throw them out. <laughs> throw them in they trash. They will be incinerated on site. <laughs> They're not technically food at that point either. She said food drops to the floor. That's true. An animal. That's, that's a not creature. food yet. Yeah. yeah. It's one of, that's a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of God's creatures, lady. <laughs> You're just killing them? you beheading them? <laughs> Is it your dad? <laughs> Are you mad at China? No, I'm pretty sure he's in the tank, though. I'm pretty sure he's in there. That's he's making, wild. He's making friends, but he needs to come home. 
That's an insane thing that they were all so confused. They're like, "Wait, what? <laughs> how, how did he get?" <laughs> well, I, well, you started by the first one. You're like, well, "I put him in there to compare sizes and do that." <laughs> oh and yeah, later, I forgot. <laughs> and then, it, then it turned into it crawled in this place and it crawled into the tank. Himself. Yeah, the comparison <laughs> made sense. Yeah, you're like the lobster has a fucking mind of its own. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it's an athletic ass lobster too. It's like having a baby in your apartment, <laughs> just like crawling into rooms and opening cabinets and shit. <laughs> you got a lobster proof the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I love that you lost claws or pinchers. He's got rubber bands around his, you know. <laughs> and he just, <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm talking. What yeah. else could he have? Yeah, whatever. He's right. got he's got rubber bands around his antennae. <laughs> <laughs> They're on his eyes. That's probably why he got lost. <laughs> hello, hey, hello. Um, I'm calling I'm calling about a bull. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, who, who am I speaking with? Uh, C. W. Hunt in uh, Philadelphia. C. W. Hunt in Philadelphia. Yeah, uh, Loudoun County. Loudoun County, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey my, my name is uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is uh, John Bovey. Um, that's B O V E. Uh huh. Right. Um, that not like that that other queer. But anyway, hey man. Right. Um, you, y'all. Um, you got uh, bulls there. Can can you ride them? No, no, no. You these don't... are not these are not riding bulls at all. They uh, just uh, just breeding bulls. Well, but uh, I'm see. I I used to. I'm trying to get my son into riding i'm a part of the um uh the professional cowboy association right. rodeo association right and and we're looking for something a little bit um easier for him to to learn on i'm up in in ohio yeah. steubenville right. ohio right. and um we were thinking about taking a trip down um it, can we just get, get my kid on one uh i mean i don't want it to be bodacious you know i'm talking right. about bodacious right you remember bodacious right. yeah meanest bull uh, ever lived Right. Um, Is there something a little no, easier. I, yeah. No, I don't. No, I, I don't think. I don't think so. He's. Uh, this is. This is. Uh, I've got one other bull, and he's. He's running with a herd down on another place, and uh, this bull here, he's. He's hard to handle. I don't think he could get anybody on him. You could get uh, anybody. I mean, I could do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm. A, I'm the regular old tough handyman. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, yeah. no, but so, but you said a beef cow, that one don't buck too hard, no? Generally not. Uh, but now he's a, he's a beef master, so he's got, you know, his background. Beef yeah, masters were bred up, they were bred up from Brahma and, uh. Well, that's a bunking bull. Brahma was yeah. a bucking bull. Yeah. That's what Bodacious was. Right. No, he was a I'll take that back. Yeah. yeah, he is a beef master. I saw the testicles on him. Yeah. Um, good, but, uh, good, good. So, um, yes, yeah, so I was thinking I'll, I'll, it's not about, I looked it up, um, I guess Loudoun County, that's about six and a half hour drive down from Steubenville. Yeah. Um, we're, uh, you know, we're trying to do, we're doing this little rodeo circuit leading up right. to, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my son to the, yeah. to the world championship right. in May down, that, down there yeah. in Texas. Yeah. And I thought maybe we could stop by and we could put him on. Uh, no, I mean you know I'd say I'd say you say you one, but uh, I'm I'm you'll, not going. You'll, you'll not, tell me this yeah, one. I'll say you that one. That's that's why he's on there. What, uh, but you you tell it to me. I can I take him, but you don't think I should put my son no, on him. I put my son on him. No, not not here. Now once once you get him home, you do anything you want to with him. <laughs> oh, I, I yeah. can do whatever I want to him. My kid or the bull. The the bull. I would yeah. beat my kid's ass. Yeah. <laughs> what right. he asked. But. Uh, Okay. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd tell him to, I'd tell him to anybody, and like I say, if you want to take him home and and make a training bull out of him for riding, that's you know that's certainly your your business. Um, but that is that's a business I'm trying to get into. Okay, right. well then, yeah. all right. Um, and what are we what are we selling this for? I see two thousand on that man. If it's right. not bunking, I can't do that. Yeah, I'll give you four K right. for it. Give what? I'll give you four K for it. Uh. Well, if you can breed I mean, this thing to buck a little bit, yeah. I'll give you 4K. Yeah. Well, I can't, uh, you know, like I said, anybody's welcome to come come look at him, and if, if they got the cash, they can load him up and take him. All right, man. Well, uh, hey, man, we'll, yeah, we'll be down. What's today? Today's uh, Saturday? Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, Monday morning. What are you doing Monday morning? I'm, I'll be at my regular job Monday morning. 
What do you do? I'm uh, I work maintenance for one of the local uh, factories. For fact, hey, yeah. I was a maintenance boy myself. Yeah. Yep. Keep yeah. lights on. Keeping a clean, damn good one. Right. You had maintenance. I'm not head of maintenance. I just I work maintenance. Y'all know you know Fritz Kilhan? Uh, no, never heard of him. Never heard of him. All right. Never mind. Kind of a legend around here. Right. Maintenance guy. He taught me right. everything. But, all right, man. Well, all right, so, so, my, my, when do you get home from work on Monday? I'm I'm home by 3 o'clock generally every every day. All right. And what's there to do around there while I wait? Uh, not much. <laughs> not much? There just, just ain't much going on around here. So uh, if you're not there, I could probably put my kid on your bull then. And you wouldn't know yeah. nothing. Yeah. Well, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> All right then. Well, hey, um, hey, we'll see you again. Uh, you can write that name down. It's uh, it's it's John Bovey, B O V E. Right. And uh, it, it's pronounced like John Bon Jovi, but it's it, right. I know it's I know it's silly, but John Bovey. Thanks. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Steubenville, Ohio, and then uh, yeah, I, I might be uh, swinging down around uh, Monday, Monday later on. Yeah. Okay, I I would have to send you my address. Oh, it ain't on the it ain't on the no. website. No, it, uh, just says, your... it just says Philadelphia. Oh, what's what's the address on there? Okay, I I can I can I can have it texted to you. Okay, sure. Yeah, I got your number. All right, perfect, man. Go ahead and text that over to me, and then uh, we'll be talking. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Bye bye. Bye. That was a nice guy. You just made friends with a good old boy. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's <laughs> too nice. I like how uh, honest people in the South are. You're like, 2000 I'll give you $4,000 for it. He's like, well, I don't know if I could do that, man. I don't know if it's in yeah. my heart to take an extra $2,000 from it. That me. was the first thing he was a little perturbed by. Yeah. <laughs> Everything up to that, he's like, yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, hey, beat your kid, beat the bull. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I will not take another $2,000 from a man. It's, it's weird that... It seemed like these were like, he's like I mean, it kind of sounds crazy, but I guess we could do it. Like it was like yeah. in the realm of possibility to sure. do that. Fuck okay. it, that was awesome. Yeah, he uh, nothing phased that guy. You're like, I see the nuts on it. He's like, yeah, he got nuts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> damn straight he does. <laughs> guy ruled. <laughs> yeah, that guy would fuck the shit out of my girl, dude. She's yeah. unflappable. Yeah, <laughs> he's selling this for a thousand a nut. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's crazy. Also, I liked how you were like, I'm like seven hours away. It's a quick drive coming to get a bull. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. I'm coming from Ohio. I'm stopping in there on my way to Texas. <laughs> it's like completely For the out world of championships. And May 9th and May 10th. Yeah. Those are the eliminations. It's the 18th and 19th. You did have a good amount of knowledge about bulls. That was impressive. Yeah. Like, what about bodacious? He's the meanest bull in history. I think I've true? heard that. Dead serious, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he like only one to try to hurt people. They they kicked him out. Wow. Ninety four, ninety five, because he kept trying to hurt people. He had a very specific bucking style where he'd, he'd shove them down and then he fucking headbutt them. Damn, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, dude. You watch videos of it. It's it's, it's kind of nuts. It's I've it's seen crazy. a. I've watched o, uh, Chad Ochocinco on the bull many times. He rides bulls. You've never seen that video? No. I Dur- no idea. During the NFL lockout in like whatever year it was, Ocho Senko was on the Patriots and the like the league was going through like contract <laughs> negotiations and he's like, Here's the thing, I'm not gonna go to these off season workouts. I'm gonna go ride the fucking baddest bull in the world. It's and so I think they did put him on like the worst bull alive, like the craziest one. Yeah. And he fell off fucking half a second into it. Yeah. It's yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> the number one the number one bull in the world right now because they're judged by your rider and then also the bull is judged like the bulls are considered athletes like right. horses are called athletes right sure. the number one is man hater <laughs> <laughs> i'm like very very on point for right now <laughs> man man hater is the number one bull yeah, man hater school the yep. stones on any person that tries to conquer that beast yeah <laughs> It's amazing. So yeah, this Saturday I'm going to be writing man hater. I mean, like most ladies on Facebook. That's good. Man hater, man, nah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm fucking gay. You want to do one? No. Okay. <laughs> no, let's do it. All right. Power Pass Solutions. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Good. Uh, do you guys have any availability to come out in the next day or two? What uh, type of issue are you having? So I got a, a little uh, pest problem in my attic going on. Uh, we just moved into this place 
Um, and I got it, like, bug-bombed and everything before we moved in, so I made sure, like, termites, ants, and all that shit was out of there. Uh, but I went up in the attic today to clean it out, and there's a family of eagles up there. There's, like, seven or eight bald eagles in my attic. And oh, yeah. I I don't know what to do with them. I mean, I put I tried to smoke them out. They're getting pissed. Yeah, I went out of call. Uh wildlife company or uh, I, I just called them and they told me to call you they said that they don't come out on weekends and that if they're not that big of eagles then they, uh, they said power pest could probably do it oh, this, is, nah, this is this is ogre billups i might they told me they would refer me oh yeah yeah i don't uh do any kind of uh birds or anything like that. i don't do bird control. well they're like they i guess they are birds but like oh some consider them like small raptors, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd have to uh, probably call a, a, a wildlife company or a company that has bird control license. If I, get them, if I get them in a trash bag, do you think the garbage trucks will take them? Oh, man. If, it, if it's illegal, uh, that's illegal. <laughs> that's it. that's yeah, I guess it is. Well, it's illegal for them to be in my property. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't... I never trespass on an eagle's nest. Yeah. That's the type of shit I'm saying. Like, if they have kids up there, <laughs> if baby eagles, then I'm screwed, man. Yeah, I feel you. Six eagles can turn into 25 quick. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. So what, do you have, like, a, a number I could call for somebody else? Because I did, I literally just got off the phone with Wildlife Protection, and they said give up Power Pest, give Power Pest a call. Oh, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. I have no clue. Do you, is it something you would deal with off the clock? Nah, man, I can't do that. I'm not licensed to do that. Can I, like, I mean, what do I do then? I'm kind of at a standstill here. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you because I don't do bird control. Yeah, all right. Well, all right. To, I don't even know how to handle that. <laughs> um, I guess like non-lethal paintballs is probably my next move. Uh, well, good luck. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your help. All right, you have a good day. All right, thank you. <laughs> that guy gets it. Yeah, that guy was fun. <laughs> oh hell no, man! I ain't fucking with no birds. If I can get him in a trash bag, it's so funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trying to do anything. He was just like, "Oh nah, nah, I ain't doing that." <laughs> I'm like, well, what about this? He's like, nah, not that either. <laughs> so I got yeah, like, uh, like the wildlife center protection was like specifically power pests, though. <laughs> <laughs> he said that still didn't get him. He should have been pumped on that referral. Like yeah. that's his starting out business. He yeah. only has a few Yelp reviews. He could have been like more excited about that. That's prank calls 101. Is whenever they're like, oh, you got to call this place. You're like, here's the thing. That place just told me call you. <laughs> yeah, is yeah. that what you do? Yeah. You say they told me to call you. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just got off the phone with wildlife conservation, dude. They said, you're the guy. They said you'd come over with a suke or so they, and uh, handle the damn. <laughs> They're totally cool killing them. They just figured that you were the person to help out. Six eagles could turn into 25 quick. <laughs> they have babies? <laughs> you know how that works, dude. Uh, eagles, they, they multiply like rabbits, I heard. <laughs> eagles in the attic is crazy. They're upside That's a good down band like name. Yeah, for eagles sure. in the attic, dude? <laughs> They're upside down like bats. <laughs> Oh, we uh, gotta do something about these things. One of the dumbest calls ever. I I dug it. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's funny to me. Uh, hell yeah, let's uh let's keep them going, dude. I'll fist fight a fucking eagle. Would you? <laughs> eagle, when you said like they're on my property, that's illegal. Like, yeah, I thought I thought there was a fight component to it. <laughs> <laughs> if I I do like the non-lethal paintballs. I was like, do I fight them? Do I, I know because I was thinking about like. I guess it is super illegal to, like, beat the shit out of an yeah. eagle. <laughs> it's illegal to have, like, a bald eagle feather. Yes. Yeah, so really? Yeah, dude, I, I grew up next to an Indian reservation, and, like, flat out, it's like, they're around there. You're not allowed to do anything to them. You'll get in trouble. Yeah. You can't take a feather, like, off yeah, the ground? Yeah, you're not supposed to, like, take them. You're not supposed to, well, maybe if they're on the ground, you might be... No, I don't think you're allowed to. Like, you're not allowed to be... <laughs> you gotta return it to the eagle. I guess I also... Like, yeah, what's I your also, mailing address? I also... It's maybe because there's, like, they're sovereign nations. 
over there. Like, well, oh, the native, Indian, yeah. yeah, the land. So that's like you're not in the United States necessarily. So like yeah. rules are are different there, and so it was always like ingrained into me like don't fuck around ever. <laughs> don't like, that's fuck not, with their eagles. They're eagle. You have an eagle, and they find out you're in deep shit. <laughs> they can hold you forever. Yeah, true. They, ex- they suspend habeas corpus on that ass that doesn't exist there <laughs> for your eagle. Fuck off. So I'm super afraid. <laughs> Fucking terrible. And I'm probably in trouble for just being on a prank call with you talking about <laughs> fake killing yeah. eagles in an attic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can hold you for up to 20 years for Fucking, that. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, they're going to lock you up in Hotel California. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a sick band cover too, just eagles upside down in the attic. <laughs> I don't uh, hey, uh, okay. draw that for me. <laughs> I wanted to call someone and say I'm bone, like a like a fighting instructor. Say I'm bone saw, and you can't last three minutes in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> just aggressive. <laughs> you know bone saw from Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when I was in, wait, so you know, in high school when you're a senior, uh, the seniors get like the thing in the yearbook, like the spotlight thing for it. Sure. Uh, so everybody had like their own page and we got to make up nicknames <laughs> or like everyone was using whatever nicknames they had been called. But I was like, obviously I'm going to make up the funniest <laughs> nicknames <laughs> ever, <laughs> but it just says my name. And then under in parentheses, it says green Hornet, <laughs> Rose and bone saw. <laughs> And I was like, this is going to last forever, dude. People will know I'm hilarious. The it's Green Hornet? <laughs> green Hornet, Rose, and Bonesaw. Rose. It's good. <laughs> right. Too bad. They were, did you put the, like, tilde or whatever over the E? Or just, it was like, <laughs> Rose? He drew Rose? <laughs> I think I spelled it R O Z A Y. Like, yeah, Ricky, like, like Ricky Rosacea? Rosacea. <laughs> Uh, no, it's MMA. MMA, Jim. It's Swift Kick, young man, boxing. Swift Kick, how you doing? Doing well, man. How about yourself? I'm doing great. This is Bone Saw. What kind of fighting y'all do down there? Um, we do MMA, we do boxing, Muay Thai. Horse and, shit. And, uh, jiu I tell you what, brother. Sorry. If you can last three minutes in the cage with bone saw, then you can win three thousand dollars. That's a challenge to you. <laughs> That's funny. If bone saw wins, then bone saw gets your gym. <laughs> That's funny. Then you have the stone to go in the cage with the bone. Uh, unfortunately, I, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I, unfortunately, we, I'm, I'm good. Is no one there? I'm sorry? You <laughs> have full, full Captain Insano <laughs> promo on him. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it too But the thing was He was gonna let you Ride with it too If you could've kept it together He was like Alright so I'm getting Fucked with But I'll let him I'll hear him out <laughs> What's the challenge Let's go. <laughs> He knew the deal I'm at least gonna Ruin his voice For tomorrow <laughs> You can either win $3,000 Or lose your gym <laughs> I'm the CEO Of Swift Kick now <sighs> This is the bone saw. <laughs> bone saw is ready. No, when, when he said we do Muay Thai kickboxing, you're like, horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one that got me. It was <laughs> He's just no, like, you don't. <laughs> you no, don't, you don't. don't do shit. Dude. I don't when do I come, anything. When I come flying at you from the top rope, let's see what your jujitsu does then. <laughs> when I come at you with a chair. <laughs> Dude, that might be. We should just do that call for the for the rest of history. <laughs> just find different gyms and keep doing that. Just forever. being bone saw. Yeah. I mean, there's no nothing else to do. What's your name, kid? The Human Spider. <laughs> it's Bruce Campbell. Bone saw was Bruce Campbell. No, the uh, the promoter in the Sam Raimi uh, Spider oh, yeah. was Bruce Campbell from Evil Dead. Okay. Good films. Good film. Man, I don't watch enough films. I don't know any of your guys' references. I'm a fucking idiot. Even Bonesaw, I'm like, I don't have a fucking clue. That's, a, pretty, that's a minor character. Yeah, Bonesaw's <laughs> not a big reference. He's not the Bonesaw's main not... antagonist from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could call someone as the Green Goblin, that would be pretty... Uh, okay. Well, Cutting promos. We'll try. <laughs> Let's do another one. Uh, 
Hi, I found this number on Craigslist. Are you selling the peacocks? Wait, we are. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, I just had a couple questions about them. Um, so you have two peacocks available? Um, I I do actually I have three, but I have somebody on their way to pick up one of them. I have two peacocks and one hen. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Was two of them. Uh, and how how old are the birds? Uh, the ones I have left, um, the peacocks. Uh, one of them will be two this late spring, um, and the other one is three. Two. Okay, and perfect. The two-year-old, when you when you call it John, does it respond? No. Is it supposed to? <laughs> so what I'm thinking happened is my name's Bruce Lagoon. I actually I'm from India and I own a peacock farm over there. Um we had a bunch of our birds stolen this past year and I think I've just found one of them in Seymour, Tennessee. Well, everything we have we raised. Can you just do a simple test for me? Can you go out and call him John and see how he responds? <laughs> Just immediately. All right, never mind. That was good. That was stupid. We, we, I thought it was pretty creepy. I thought it was pretty good. We called him a traditional Indian name. <laughs> John the Peacock. <laughs> my name's Bruce Lagoon from India. You might be able to tell by my accent. <laughs> I shouldn't have even looked up where they're from. I threw off the whole thing. I'm Indian man Bruce Lagoon. <laughs> name my name my peacock John. Looking for John Lagoon the Peacock. <laughs> John Lagoon the peacock. Fuck. Dude, the fucking one year ago there was a big peacock heist in India. <laughs> yeah, that was all coming together in the moment. I was just panicking in my head. I was like, stole peacocks, India, mine. You did make her laugh. You did get her. You did get her giggle. Just, oh, okay. Does he respond to John? Just like, <laughs> is he supposed to? Uh, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well. Well, hopefully she sells those other two birds, dude. Yeah, one of them's going quick. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. She, she's held them for like three years. They're three years old, so you got to hang out with them for three years before you're allowed to get rid of Like, you can sell them. Getting yeah. accused of having stolen peacocks <laughs> is crazy. It's a nuts thing to hear. <laughs> I think I just found it. All your calls today are about exotic birds, too. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Let's keep it going. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> what do you... Like, the lady that's getting the one peacock, what do you think it's, like, are you making a coat out of it? I don't know. There was this, uh, actually, funny enough, there was this one Indian family that I went to high school with, Mm -hmm. and they had peacocks. Yeah. And, uh, I never knew why. Never, never really knew what they did. They just built, like, this big barn and kept peacocks in it. Can I call up, uh... Power pass and be like, I got this problem. I got some peacocks in the basement, yeah. <laughs> and they're fucking out of control. Got hummingbirds in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm living in fucking Mr. Magoo's. What do you? Uh, what do you, t- what do you? No, I just call penguins in the freezer. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just got a. It might be fun to call up, uh, call up an animal sanctuary and be like, I just got a. A penguin, like, is it cool if I keep it in the freezer? <laughs> I don't know where else to keep them for now. I know, like, they got to be cold, right? <laughs> no, he was just on the side of the road. I got him. Yeah, like, call an animal sanctuary. I can't get over there to get it to you right now. Do you think it's cool if I put them in the freezer? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, call him up. <laughs> See if you can find an animal sanctuary. That's probably hard to get on the phone. Because mm. like a, um, is it, is pet shop? Like a Yeah. Pet grooming will work. Yeah. It's, it's just like uh, taking calls about cutting dogs' hair. Yeah. <laughs> I have a penguin in the <laughs> I got a penguin. I'm yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right. Pet grooming. <laughs> uh, so. uh, I'm thinking of loving him. Pet grooming. Most of these places only do dogs, too. So it's <laughs> always funny to be like, yeah, we don't do penguins. You're like, make it special cases for me. Yeah. Saw an ad in the paper, so we don't do penguins. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I found a penguin. He was a uh, he was a rascal.
<laughs> it doesn't matter. Are you worried that they're not actually going to help with the penguin? <laughs> <laughs> That's my main concern. Drew, do you remember that we don't have a penguin in yeah. fact? <laughs> yeah, let's set things in the freezer. I need help. <laughs> Find a Ben and Jerry's. It's fucking beacon my pizza rolls. <laughs> She would have been great. You can yeah. tell. I want to take you to her now. Adorable pets grooming. Mm -hmm. That is an adorable dog. As advertised. Adorable pets. Hey, Linda. Uh, I think you got the wrong number. We have no, no Linda wait. here. Wait, is this Adorable Pets Grooming? It is. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, sorry, I was told it was Linda. Oh, uh, who am we I speaking with? We have Linda here. We've got no Linda. No, we don't have a Linda here. It's all right. I don't. I, well, I don't think I need Linda as long as you can help me out. Um, yeah, there you go. I can do, try. Yeah, y'all do penguins. We don't. You don't. You don't do nope, penguins. Just dogs. Just dogs. Just, just dogs. Uh, yep. Wait. Hey. All right. Um, I got a problem. Um, okay. All right. Can I can I trust you with something? Uh, possibly. All right. I stole a penguin. Okay. And I like I, he's cute, and I want to take care of him, and I need to get him groomed, and uh, I need somewhere to take him. Uh, we don't have to have it on the books or nothing, but I I want him I want him cute. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you stole something, you should probably know how to take care of it because I don't know how to do that. Well, but I, I, I don't. I don't I, I'm just a real good thief. But here's the problem. We're on a time crunch. I don't, like, I, he's in the freezer right now. I feel like he's melt. He's going to melt or something. Yeah. I don't know how these things work. Me either. You do, but you know how to use shampoo, right? They use shampoo, right? Dog shampoo? You can use dog shampoo. I don't him. give you a shit what you do. I just need him clean and smelling good because I, I got a wedding that we're going to. He's already got a tuxedo on. That's pretty funny. You could, try, just, you could try the zoo. I mean, I'm sure they know how to take care of him there. Well, they don't because someone stole one from him. Well, I mean. They don't take that good care of him. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound like you are either, though. Well, I'm trying to get him clean. He's a filthy mess from that pigsty they call a zoo. Well. I mean, you know, animals like poop sometimes. That, yeah, coprophagia, right? Is that what it's called when they eat their own shit? I don't know. My my penguin doesn't do that. My well, penguin's not some ratty little small <laughs> free say. That's not what my dog does. All right, this has been a great conversation. One more question. I one really more question. do have to go back one to more, work. One more question. <laughs> one more question. Do you think that you can clip his toenails? I this is literally my last day here, so your last day. No. Oh, well, hey, if you need to <laughs> no, I, I mean I won't be able to do that. Network of stealing from zoos. If you Google, want a great job. YouTube usually has how-to videos. That is my recommendation, and Don is fantastic as well. I don't, but I don't need a recommendation a or day. help. I, I can have, steal a penguin. I need accomplices. I don't. I I literally have to go. So you have a great day. Okay. Do you know anyone else? I can, do you know anyone else I can call? Do you know anyone else I can call who might help me out with my penguin? No, I already gave you my suggestions, but I right. gotta go. Hey, I love. Hey, I love you. <laughs> it's saying the penguin is melting. He's, he's so in funny. the freezer. He's melting. The penguin's he's melting. melting is what I was trying to do. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like you have to call the zoo, lady. Where do you think the penguin came from? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, they're not doing too good with the penguins over there. <laughs> yeah, someone's stealing them. Bad conditions and lax security. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoving a penguin in your coat pocket. <laughs> Walking out the zoo. <laughs> oh, yeah.
<laughs> that was a fun one. I think you're the first person <laughs> to ever start a call. Like, she was, like, already laughing. And you were like, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we haven't thought of that. <laughs> I was I was just thinking that I was going to be like, I, in my head, I started that way. And then um, I say that I was referred to someone named Linda who might be able to help me out was where I was going to go. That's how true. fucked up would you have been if she was like, yeah? I'm like, sick, you're who I'm looking for. <laughs> I was, <laughs> that would have went down a different... You're like Linda, she's like Seneca. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and let me guess, this is your last day. <laughs> like, how, if it was her last day, she should have given it a shot. Fuck, like, bring the penguin in. Yeah. You do it. If I worked at a dog grooming shop and someone was like, I stole a penguin. Like, what are you going to get? It's my fired? last day. Yeah. If I can bring it down. Can you get here before five? Do they have toenails? No. Do penguins have nails? I think so. <laughs> I don't think they do. I think, well, they have Tails? flippers, but I think. Flippers? <laughs> I imagine flippers didn't have nails. They have to use toenails to like fight off polar bears. I think. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> they're they're the, they're they're not even on the same. Penguins and polar bears are, don't live with each other. <laughs> well, there's not polar bears in your apartment. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the, oh, you, you my particular penguin needed it to fight the polar bears. Like, they're on opposite poles. They don't exist. They don't coexist. No, there's. Oh, they really? Be. Yeah. No, penguins are North Pole and uh, polar bears are South Pole. Or vice versa. What are they? They're, they don't exist together. They've never crossed paths. No, they don't. Dude, polar bears. And by the way, by, by the way, I feel like I might be bullshitting, but I'm pretty sure. No, I, I think, think they don't are, exist. Right. Why, are, why don't we put penguins in the North Pole though? <laughs> That's where polar seems, bears are. Seems easy enough. <laughs> Boy, Santa yeah, hates I, them. I think penguins are Antarctic and polar bears are north. I think. Santa fucking hates those things. <laughs> But Santa's cool with polar bears, but just hates penguins. That's why I don't believe in Santa Claus, because like, there's commercials with him, him with penguins, and I'm like, this fucking is bullshit. That's yeah. how I knew. Geographically. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, Santa. <laughs> Maybe we've been searching the wrong pole this whole time. In the South Pole. <laughs> the real Santa's down in the South Pole. Like, I'm fucking right here, dude. I'm into Santa wearing South Pole. That'd be sick. <laughs> out in the open. His outfit was all SP. <laughs> That'd be sick. Hello? Hello? Hey, this is Doug Manchin. Y'all selling the hay on Craigslist? Yes. Hey, how you doing? Uh, good. How are you? I'm good. So I, I recently, uh, I, I know you probably saw the things with, uh, we're doing the festival uh, March 1st, the South Green County Festival. Um, <clears throat> uh, me and a couple of the other aldermen, we were talking about doing a hay eating competition this year. And I thought you guys might be the perfect people to sponsor it. Um, how much hay do you have overall? Well, I mean, square bales of hay? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've got enough to put out probably about 7,500 bales. 7,500 bales. All right. Uh, I probably only need about 10 or 12 of them. Do you, how yes. much, how, how much, uh, hay do you think one person could eat? One person? Yes. Uh, it's for the county fair. We're doing a, a hay eating event this year. Oh gosh! I mean, a handful. I mean, I wouldn't eat the hay. I mean, it's for horses and cows. But well, I, I'm not saying you got to get in the competition, but we got a bunch of people this year that are just uh just drooling at the mouth, ready to get in there and eat some of this hay. <laughs> well, I would say, I mean, seventy five dollar cash price. Well. I mean, it depends on how big the person is, I guess, you know. Um, I wouldn't say they would eat no more than one vat of hay. Well, uh, so we got 12 people in the competition. Do you think we'll need 12 bales of hay? Heck no. <laughs> no. You don't think a person's putting down a bale? No way. For $75 cash? That's the whole size of their, bigger than their midsection. Yeah, so probably half a bale. It, I wouldn't even say they could eat a half a bale. But if you're a big old 300-pound guy, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we got a few of those entering the contest this year. All right, okay. so I'll I'll come down there, and do you, you do uh, cash? You take trades? We take cash. All right, I got some chickens that I want to get rid of, too, if you're interested in those. I don't have no chicken. My dogs would eat them. All right. $100 for all the hay. For 10 bales? No, 7500 No. All right. 100 bucks for 10 bales. 100 bucks for 10 bales. All right. I'll come down there. All right. Well, let me know when you're coming so I'll know to be around because we're in and out, in and out on the farm. Yeah, I'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Thank you.
You're welcome. Bye. Was, yeah, <laughs> you nailed the price. Hundred for three. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> like that worked. Seventy five hundred bales. Negotiations <laughs> finest, dude. I just want, we'll come down to ten. I'm starving. Just the whole idea with that was I wanted to hear her be like, "Person can't eat no bale of hay." Yeah. And, she, and she did exactly that. So I guess it worked. We got some big old boys in the contest <laughs> for a grand prize of seventy five dollars. <laughs> just eat an entire bale of hay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much. Hey. That was good. That was fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. What a time. We did it, it dude. We made some good calls. Fun time. We dude. goofed around. Uh, Cynic, thank you for doing the thing. No, thanks for having me. Dude, man, anytime dude. I'm around, I'll do it. I, I like I said, that was uh, first time doing prank calls since I was like a, a little kid. Like, I know, right? It's, it gets you fucking going. And it, and I'm like, oh, there are little tricks to figure out how to do this. Yeah. Like watching, like, oh, there's little things to do and like to keep them on the line or to get them to do something stupid, having a couple ideas in mind. We've, Next time uh, I come back, I'll be loaded to the kills with hell yeah, a dude. little fucking <laughs> list. Um, do you got anything you want to plug? Do you do a pod? No, don't do a pod. Uh, no, man. In fact, you can just find me on whatever yeah. I do. Seneca Stone on the stuff, and I'll be Seneca turning around Stone. doing bullshit. Throw the man a follow. Yeah, throw the man a follow. Kills throw on stage. Hell yeah. Beast. If you're in Pittsburgh, go out and fucking suck him off or something. Please. Whatever yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'll have... All my shows and tour dates and stuff I post regularly. So I'll be around in I got South Bend, Indiana at the drop, and I'll be in Hilarities in April and local Pittsburgh stuff I've come up. So you can just find the stuff there. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, thank you for watching the show. Dude, if you're on the Patreon, God bless you. Thank you for supporting the show. I, Thanks uh, so much. I, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting us do this every day because it's uh, very fun. Uh, if you're not on the Patreon, patreon.com slash digital bazooka. Get on the show. there. We got uh, exclusive stuff coming soon. Hell yeah. Me and James are stealing John Montag's golf show idea, and we're just going to put that on Patreon. So Get on the <laughs> Patreon. We will come to your house and suck you off. That no, is a no, fact. No, we won't do that. But uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, God bless. See you later. Bye. Sick. <laughs>